The goal of the new centre is to provide new ways to support patients living with um, dementia. Patients and their families often receive very little um, support in, in the home environment and that leads to um, uh, the development of, of, of major preventable problems. Um, so for example, patients often uh, develop difficulties with infections, falls, dehydration and these are all things that we can, we can treat um, but they're leading to preventable hospital admissions. So there's a tremendous opportunity um, to try and develop new ways to support people living with, uh, with dementia and prevent um, those, uh, those difficulties developing. Um, so the vision of the centre is to develop an intelligent environment, uh, a healthy home that supports people living with dementia and also predicts uh, and prevents adverse events occurring. Uh, and so what we want to do is to help people um, to be able to live for as long and for as well as possible in their own homes. So we want to be able to um, uh, sense and monitor the most important information, so for example brain activity or the development of infections or sleep disturbance. Um, that information is amalgamated um, uh, using artificial intelligence um, and then we can use that information to predict when problems are likely to occur. And then we want to feed that information back uh, to allow us to, for example, alert um, healthcare teams or to change the home environment that allows us to prevent uh, problems occurring. I'm Trevor Truman and I'm a home carer for my wife. We were trying out a pretty large number of technologies. Quite a lot of the devices were fixed to the house. They measured things like room temperature and humidity and movements, weather for example, the, the fridge was opened a couple of times a day or more or not for a week, um, whether certain doors were open at rather unusual times of the night which would be a proxy for broken sleep and so forth. There was some anticipation that this might have seemed obtrusive to some people. Uh, the experience was that on the whole it, it wasn't seen as obtrusive. We focus on using technology and AI, uh, AI to provide uh, care and support for people with dementia and their carers. The idea is to help people to live in their home environment safer and longer and try to detect and predict adverse health conditions before they escalate. The technologies we have are in two main categories. Sensors monitoring uh, environmental data, like sensors monitoring movement around the house. When people switch on, for example, home appliances, detecting kettle is on, looking at number of times people go to bathrooms. Uh, basically, these are uh, low-cost, non-invasive technologies. We monitor people's day-to-day -day activities. So so as dementia progresses, um, brain activity patterns change and that has an impact on how people are behaving and, uh, uh, and the problems that people might develop. Now at the moment it's not really possible to monitor um, brain activity in a home environment but we have tools to do that in a hospital environment. Um, one of those is something called electroencephalography, EEG, it's been around for a long time. This is a little EEG um, system, this fits inside your ear. Um, it's an ear EEG that allows us to monitor continuously brain activity and we're going to be exploring um, how we can use that um, to monitor um, patients in their own home environment. So the centre will be based here at Imperial's White City campus uh, and this is a really exciting development where we're bringing together engineering, uh, technology, computer science and medicine all in the same place. Most people want to stay at home, most carers want their loved ones to stay at home but sometimes they find it's not possible and I think it's a fantastically exciting program and combining that with the very human and sometimes intractable problems that people are actually living with.